Did you know that tinnitus is not an issue of your ears, but it's actually an issue of your brain? And let me explain. So years and years ago, like back in the 1950s, when someone was debilitated by their tinnitus, surgeons would go in and sever the hearing nerve. So they would cut the hearing nerve. So the patient would wake up and could not hear out of a specific ear. But unfortunately, they could still hear their tinnitus. This was the first time that the medical community realized that tinnitus really isn't an issue of the ear, but an issue of the brain. Then, of course, fast forward and more currently, we have these wonderful imaging devices like fMRIs and MRIs, and we can actually look at the brain's activity and compare people with tinnitus to those that don't have tinnitus. And what we find is that those with tinnitus have an increased activity in two areas of the brain their auditory cortex, which is, of course, where your hearing system is, and then your limbic system, which is where your behaviors, emotions, and your fight-or-flight system is housed. So this is how we know that tinnitus really isn't an issue of the ear, but more happening in the brain. If you are in the United States and you need help finding a tinnitus provider, please visit ata.org and search for a provider. All right, friends, I'm Dr. Maria Morrison, audiologist. I'm your expert in hearing healthcare. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.